Hey guys, welcome to this series where we are explaining you the code for the program that you requested. Now, uh, uh, this program is also fairly simple. This is uh, based on uh, this, uh, the previous program that where we did uh, swapping of two numbers with the help of a uh, temporary variable. But in, in this program, we will not be using uh, the temporary variable. Uh, now, let's see uh, how we are going to do that. Now, uh, uh, I'm not going to tell you what is swapping. I'm assuming that you watched the previous video. If you did not, please go uh, back to the last video and watch the previous one where I explained what is swapping. Now we'll just look at the algorithm that we'll be using uh, to swap uh, two numbers without the use of temporary variables. Now first what we are going to do is we are going to bring the 125 to the variable 2 and just add it with the variable 2 and store the result into the variable 2. Okay, So we have uh, 125 plus 25 which is equal to 150. right? Now the next step that we are going to do is we are going to bring the 125 to the variable 1 and we are going to subtract both of them. Now we'll do 150 minus 125 right so the output uh, so the variable now uh, 25 will be stored in variable 1 right now after this we are going to look uh, we are going to take the 25 on the right hand side now we'll subtract the variable 2 from the variable 1 that is we subtract 150 from 125 now the answer is 125 right so now if you look if you remember the previous uh, in the input that we got, it was 125 and 25. Now we have swapped the two variables. Now this program we did not use the temporary uh, like the previous case. Now uh, without using the temporary, we actually saved some amount of memory. Now let's jump into the code and look uh, how we'll code this uh, program. Now I just created a C file that is uh, swap without uh, temp. Uh, dot c and now uh, just include the stdio for input output now i'll just write down the main now first we'll declare the two variables here we'll be requiring two not three variables like in the previous case so our variables will be in, uh, variable one and variable two so now we'll just tell the user uh, to input the two variables now we'll just scan the input from the user. After scanning the uh, input, we'll just uh, print uh, the variables uh, so that we know what are the values before swapping. Now we'll apply the logic that uh, that is that first we'll add both the variables and store them in variable two. So let's do that. Now the second step was to subtract variable 1 from variable 2. Let's do that. And we'll store this inside variable 1. Now the next step was to sub uh, subtract the variable 1 from variable 2 and now store it inside variable 2. Let's do that. Okay, so now that we have applied our logic, now let's print the output after swapping. So now let's compile to see if we have any errors. No, we don't have any errors. So let's run it. So now it is asking us for the first variable and the second variable. We'll enter 125 and uh, we'll enter 25. Okay, so see, before swapping the values were 125 and 25. Now after swapping we have 25 and tw uh, 125. Now we have successfully executed this program. Uh, I hope you have understood everything and the explanation and the code. And if you have any doubts, please comment. Uh, we'll solve your doubts. 
as soon as possible now if you have if you guys have any request on spe any specific program put that also in the comment section like our video subscribe it we will be posting a lot many of these videos and thank you